I also want to praise God for uh, our uh, jurisdictional uh, sister Tanya Listenby is somebody special. She's uh, she assists me. She coordinates things, and I'd be in trouble without her. I'm telling you right now, I'd be in trouble. Uh, she knows how to put things together. And she, we met today and she was telling me about all of the fantastic volunteers who came out and put their shoulder to the plow and made things happen. And I said to her, I said, Tanya, I, I think you could do a better job telling uh, what happened because, you know, a lot of times um, people, you know, the preacher uh, gets, gets credit and I praise God, thank God for leadership, but I thank God for, for, for the buy-in, for the buy-in of the saints. Because if you didn't buy in and help the vision, the vision will go, would go nowhere. Bible teaches without a vision, the people perish. But without people, the vision perishes. There's got to be somebody who's willing to work and to do. And Sister Tanya Listenby is coming at this time and, uh, and she's going to share what transpired. Would you thank God for her today? Amen. God bless you, Bishop. If you volunteer during our holy convocation, Bishop would like for you at this time to come to the stage. Amen. Bishop, many were in our 8 a.m. service. Right, Sister right. Kathy Daniels, uh -huh. um, Sister Bonnie Graves, mm -hmm. Brother Reginald Harper, Brother Ira Hope, um, everyone who volunteered, um, Elder Burwell, Brother Jonathan, Brother Isaiah, um, Evangelist Nanette Glasby, everyone, if you volunteered from Monday through Friday. So I, I want you to see them. Yes, if you volunteer Monday through Friday, Saints of God, we sent out an email asking and requesting for volunteers to help us throughout the week. We started out on Monday night. The men of God came in big numbers. The upper room, riders were in the house. They came in big numbers. Show them cameras. Converting the stage, getting the stage set up, going from room to room, making sure that every set up. Then we went on Tuesday. The ladies came out and they made sure we had chair covers, the tablecloths, and all of those things was on. First lady wouldn't come on and stand with us. Everybody talked about that beautiful green room. Our first lady had a vision for the green room and she worked with me and Sister Margaret in getting that together. We had district missionary who was serving on the serving line. flipping everything back. So when you came this morning, it, it, it's as though nothing ever happened. But it wasn't, you know, I couldn't do it. I would still be here moving chairs. <laughs> Amen. Thank you all. And may God's choice blessings be yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John Jr. Come here, boy. Up here with the boy. That's my grandson. He's a hard worker, too. How you doing, buddy? Huh? You doing all right? Yes, sir. You love Jesus? Yes. Are you ready to preach today? I don't preach. All right. All right. Well, maybe 
Maybe one day. Now y'all know I'm a proud grandpa. I love you, boy. Give him family a big hand. Let's thank God for the thank you volunteers. Thank you.